we target ourselves to be a, a technology leader uh, in the industry. So every, uh, every year we target to improve our efficiency by about 1%. So to give us a leadership about you know at least six months over the other uh, competitors, so we think we will we will still continuously uh, improve along this uh, along this path. So this is one of the basic I, I think is one of the key strategies we have. So we try to give our customer insurance that uh, you know with our products uh, you are able to get uh, 25 years uh, reliable products, 25 years uh, energy harvest. So this is uh, you know we think is the this essence of the business. So we, we try to stick with this policy and uh, try to give our customers the best product, best quality product. So this is why we actually doing this kind of test to make sure, you know, we are, uh, because today international testing standard doesn't guarantee you to have the 25 years reliability, reliable products. It doesn't have the, this direct relationship. So we want to say, you know, whether our products is a, is a better performed compared with others or better performed compared with international standard. This is just to make sure, you know, have better products to the customer. The method is an international uh, standard. So the testing method is well known. So we developed the testing method together with like uh, uh, the uh, inst institute like Fraunhofer or, uh, you know, uh, other uh, companies, third party companies like TUV, Sud. So we developed the testing method together with them. Usually the modules are quite sensitive to the, uh, if it's in the uh, very humid areas, environment, so modules tends to have this problem, PID problem. So this is, uh, you know, we identified this problem uh, two, three years ago and start to do something uh, from different levels. <coughs> like uh, on the cell level, we try to improve our cell to be a more PID resistance kind of cell. And on module level, we also do uh, actions, take actions to improve the module reliabilities uh, in terms of PID. So both uh, combined together, we think uh, you know, our products today is, uh, it can offer customer better PID resistance compared with others. So this is, uh, you know, we think is one of the very important features on, the, on our products and one of the competitive edges compared with others also. But most of the companies, they start to do take actions uh, last year uh, and they, co they could only offer part of their production volume as a PID resistance uh, product. But for us, because we take uh, early actions and uh, we, we start to do something you know, a long time ago, so we can uh, probably to see that uh, we have 100% uh, convert our production to this uh, PID resistance product. It's hard to say, you know, it's, or it's hard to, for us to determine whether customer, where a customer is going to use our products. So it's better, you know, we, in general, we improve uh, the PID resistance, uh, this kind of ability, right, for all the products. Uh, of course, you know, at the end user, they can use at the different levels because, it, as you said, you know, at desert areas, it's, it's not so sensitive to the PID problem, but uh, whereas in the Southeast Asia, it's more susceptible to this problem. We're going to launch actually two products uh, by the end of the year. Uh, one is the Rhesium, it's basically for multi-cell, uh, multi-products, and the other, for, uh, the other one is uh, uh, Persium, it's for the mono products. So both are offering, uh, you know, uh, unique uh, high efficiencies compared with other people. So for for, for the mono product Persium is over 20 percent average efficiency is over 20 percent, and for this Rhesium is over 18 percent. So both are actually stands out, uh, uh, you know, uh, compared with uh, peers. Uh, so those two products we developed uh, three years ago. And uh, uh, together with uh, some equipment company, the first tier, you know, equipment company, because these products uh, actually, uh, the traditional uh, manufacturing lines of equipments are not able to produce these kind of products. So we have to work through the uh, supply chain. We have to work together with the uh, equipment suppliers to make sure, you know, once we ha we are ready on the technology, but we have the right equipment to produce those, and uh, with the right cost uh, for for that technology. So this is uh, you know, how we started a uh, long time ago. And also, of course, you know, we are also working with some institute as well, uh, all, uh, both domestic and uh, international. Passivation technology is very important. And uh, uh, metallization technology, also very important. And uh, in terms of the, this uh, resium, actually is the uh, texture process, texturing process is, uh, is the key for this technology. So both uh, the technologies I'm mentioning here actually requires new equipment, new set of equipments. When we start to working with those companies, right, we start to design these products, uh, cost is always uh, the most important factors we have to consider, right? So, uh, so today I'm can, I, I can confidently see, you know, this, 
the technologies we are using today for the new technology uh, is comparable, has the comparable uh, cost uh, with the existing technology, uh, existing products, but uh, offers customers more benefits with the high energy you know, output. Uh, we have planned uh, next year to expand our uh, module capacity uh, from today's like 1.8 gigawatts to uh, 3.1 gigawatt is a, is a you know, step forward uh, on the module capacity. The reason is you know, we, we found the uh, uh, module is actually uh, end products that link us to, to the end user, right, to our customers. So we want to expand this uh, portion of the, uh, you know, the capacity. Uh, and also the, the other reason is like uh, today we are seeing the shortage from our company, right? We are seeing the shortage of our uh, module supplier to our customers. So normally, uh, so we have to, based on the customer requirements, right? We have to expand this portion of capacity as well. So likewise, you know, cell wise, we, we already have the biggest capacity in the world. So cell wise, we, we think, you know, the, uh, right now the capacity we have is appropriate. So the module wise, uh, you know, we, we have to further improve to suit our customers' needs. Our policy in general, you know, we do 100% manufacturing with our own facility. So we don't do OEM uh, with other people, uh, you know, sub, you know this, uh, so, so we will not like other people, you know, like our competitors. So we do this to make sure the quality of the products. This is the basic reason.